Hello everybody, welcome back to the Art Cake Experience. Uh, today, the, as I said, this week is all about animals. So today I decided to try to make for the first time in the camera with you guys, let's see how this turns out, uh, a piggy. But she's going to, it's going to be a piggy, a, a lady piggy. She's going to make her name, I think her name should be like Lola or something like that because she's really sassy and beautiful i saw an illustration on the internet that i loved it i'm gonna put credits about the illustration because i think we should give credit to the artist and i'm trying to turn that illustration into a sugar paste topper let's see how this happens <laughs> let's see what okay, happens so i let the sugar paste rest for a little bit with the cmc now for the body, um, as I usually start, I'm going to go with a pear shape, just pushing as I go around. This is the shape that is basic for most of the animals. The thing is, is she's kind of chubby, curvy, let's call her curvy. So I'm just going to bring this here down a little bit, just to give you a more, more round look in here. And what I'm going to do today, uh, instead of adding the legs, I'm going to bring the legs out of this piece of sugar paste. So I'm going to use this tool that is the one that I always use. As I said, this is my first attempt to do this. I didn't practice. I just saw the design. I said, mm, got to do it. So I guess I'm just going to go like this. And here as well. Just to try to get the legs out, part of the legs, right? Okay. This one. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do all all of her arms and features out of this sugar paste. Uh, this because, I mean, let's try, why not? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to make it thinner here, just to give a shape of like the end of her, of her leg here, right? Let's see if it works, guys. As I told you, this is the first time I'm doing it here in camera with you guys. And I'm going to try to get this little, little like, how do you call it? Feet? Piggy feet? It's not a paw. Is it a paw? I don't know. Out. We later are going to use um some dust to give shadows into it so let me try to pinch this with my fingers without marking it okay cute because in the in the design her feet are really really tiny but that makes her so cute okay so i think we're almost there just try to do it rounded here this tool, why is this tool so amazing? You can do anything you want with this. Perfect. Now it looks like a chick, <laughs> but uh, I think I think it's getting there. It's in my mind, in my head, it is getting there. Uh, I'm going to try to do the same in the other side, and I'll show you how it looks. So as you can see, I uh, I switch from this tool to the rubber uh, brush, the one that is um, that is a straight line. And I just took like all he, her feet out here and there and make this little marking here, just to make it look like a piggy feet. I, I'm still saying feet. I don't know if it's their feet or paws, but she's a lady, so she has feet, right? Just gonna keep her this here in the middle. Okay, so Lerum is Lola. I'm, I'm calling her Lola already. Um, 
she has her legs come in a V shape. So I already marked here like a V shape here just to separate her legs, right? And I'm going to all the way down here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this inside just to create some um, like to bring this up so look what we do with the with the faces we push we pull some things go up some things go down this is the first thing I'm modeling an animal out of one piece the first time I do this is I, I rounded this part a little bit more just to give the idea that her legs are coming from here and just mark this V and close it a little bit because I was pushing here and I didn't like how it looked so I'm just going to mark it here better so it would look like like she's her legs are in Perfect. See, we did it. We did it. Uh, doesn't look like much right now, but it's gonna. My head is looking good. Uh, it's gonna look better later. So I'm going to let this rest while we work on the face of. Just to show you guys, one of the proportions that I'm using for the head and for the body is almost the same, because she's round and her face is, is her head is big compared to the body. So I will make it more cartoonish and more, it's it's cuter. So just for you guys to see it, more or less, this is the proportion. Now I'm going to let the body rest and we're going to work into the face. Okay, I'm going to do, I uh, think I'm going to do as we do with the human face. I'm just going to press here in the middle Because that way, I did that with the Chewbacca as well. Okay, that way, I just put some, um, some sugar here. Yeah, I'm gonna just brush it with some sugar. Okay, so it won't stick. Very good. Okay, so now. Now that I have this, I'm gonna keep her, I think I'm gonna keep her round because she's she's a round lady. Uh, I'm gonna check on the design again and I'll be right back with you So guys. in order to make things right, I checked on the design and actually her eyes are a little bit up here because now I'm going to make some pressure in here because I want to bring this part out and be pushing up here to create the nose in here. I think I'm gonna go with the round tool. pressure here okay let me bring this up first time I'm doing this guys usually I don't know what happens but the first time if I'm really committed into it uh, it's it 
and then I'll try to recreate it and it doesn't look the same so I don't know let's see how this one goes so I'm just gonna keep bringing this out okay and now I think we have or a nose right there Uh, let me go back, check on the design, and I'll I'll be right. So back. as you can see, I I was looking at design and trying to figure this out. So I I made this shape. So I'm going to create some sort of heart shape in here for her nose. Right, almost like drawing on top of the sugar paste. I'm not making much pressure, just a little bit of pressure. It's funny how from one day to the other, I was so disappointed yesterday with what I was modeling. And I felt terrible. I felt like, oh gosh, I'm not good at this. And today, Ms. Lola is coming out quite good. Okay, so it's sort of like a heart. Let me just, I think it's too small here, so I'm going to bring it. I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to actually make her mouth come out of this part. Okay, so now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create here some sort of double chin here for her. And I think I'm going to go with a smaller nose too. Because why not? It's not a plastic surgery, right? Okay, good. And I'm going to keep this part a little bit fat in here. Bigger. I'm not gonna say fat, I'm gonna say bigger. Because that way, I'm gonna bring this up here. Keep rounding here. Good. Now I'm going to open her nostrils here. And I'm going to give her a cute smile. Just check back on the design. And okay, let me see back. if I can make her smile like this. Okay, so I'm just going to follow the base of the nose. That would be give more definition to the nose as well, right? And then just keep going with the pretty smile to the side. and I think I'm going to go I'm going to open the mouth here a little bit more very patiently because I don't want to To do is I'm going to go very separate eyes and I'm going to do what I usually do with my black eye dolls I'm just gonna give her a black eye and then I'm going to create the eyelid 
on top of it and give her some beautiful lashes with edible marker. Let's see how it looks. We have some CNC here. And I'm going to make little black balls that will hopefully fit in there. Good. Excellent. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the uh, same sugar paste. Just bring this down a little more. Good. Make this tiny, tiny, tiny very thin strip. Uh, where is my here? Okay. And now, try not to damage the eye. Just wet this a little bit in here. And, whoops, this part is tricky. Uh, I think it's a little bit long. Take half of this. I think with this, with this part will be enough. And I'm going to take a little part here as well. Make another one. I'm going to use this one. Let's see. Nice. Now going to glue it here very carefully try not to damage the eye takes a while but it looks really cute and maybe give her here like oh, I'm sorry I'm getting off camera let me try to change the angle to closer closer angle so you can okay my hand is gonna be a little bit on the way but you will see better what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take this part. I usually take it and place it in the middle, if this allowed me to. Okay, let me do it again. Okay, my hands shake a lot. Okay, good. And now I'm gonna Twist it because for me the others the other eye is better to work it like this. Okay, once it's in place, I'm just starting to move it around and give her all the details and the angle that I want. Rounder angle. Sometimes just to changing the angle of an eyelid of an eye lash or an, or or an eyebrow it can change the whole expression of the face so i like to take my time just to see where i can i think i think she looks gorgeous i'm sorry sorry i'm moving the camera the camera's too close i think she looks quite gorgeous now she needs lashes and makeup like an Here's the thing, I was checking the design and her lashes are big deal. So I was gonna paint them with uh, an edible marker, but I think she deserves proper lashes. So I cut, I cut some, oh, where's the other one? Here. I, I cut two, um, two little pieces of black fondant and with this, I don't know if it's too thick because, yeah, it's too thick here. So I'm just going to make it thinner. Probably from one I can make both of them. Cut it in so, half. As I was saying, I'm going to give her some lashes using a little piece of black sugar paste. Let me just use this in order to glue it to her eyelid. And it's not working. Why is not working? It's not going. Okay, good.
the face. Let me just move this because it's kind of crooked. Uh, and I inserted this uh, wooden stick, this toothpick, with a little bit of CMC to hold the head. As I said before, guys, this is the first time I'm doing this. I'm just, I'm going to do something. I'm going to move this here so you will have a better angle because now I have to decide what angle I'm going to give to this little lady. And I think I'm trying not to look through the camera. But I think it's going to be like this. Okay, good. And I'm just going to add some CMC here in the bottom to glue it better. So cute. She's looking very cute. Okay, I'm just hold or I'm gonna go like this because I like her face better like this it will give like rounder shakes here perfect and now just to hold the head because the head is a little bit uh, heavy I'm going to insert another toothpick right here in the middle because she's going to have a bandana like a like a how do you call it yeah, bandana, a headband. So it's gonna be covered and that way her head will take in one place. I'm gonna give her ears and then we're going to do her So I already made one of the ears just to serve me as a guide. And this is what I did. I did a ball and then I just make it flat, make it into a triangular shape cut the excess that I didn't want and again with this tool what I did was to create uh, like a deeper part here in the middle okay so it will have this this line here and now I'm just this one I bend it to this side. So this one is going to be bended like this because it's for the other side. Some tiles water or CMC. She's looking so cute. I feel way better than I felt yesterday. We all have our days, right? And now I'm just going to blend this here just to make sure it holds and she has both ears same size this is going to be covered with her with her bow but I wanted to put it up great she's looking so cute now I'm going to do Lola's bandana what I did is I rolled out a little piece of red fondant or sugar paste and I made these little balls of white fondant that I just place on top of it. And now with the rolling pin, I'm just going to attach them together. And I'm going to be moving around this piece so the little balls would look like a pattern in a fabric. It's not like the perfect shape, but it looks a little bit rustic. But it looks fun and she's a fun lady okay so now I'm just going to go let me whoops I'll just take her here I'm going to measure how much I need to go all the way around her piece it's gonna be like this okay look up to here and up to here okay did some markings now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first let me round this better here, make a straight line, and then I'm going to make sort of like a big oval shape. It's not oval, but it's like thick here and thinner here. I'm gonna save this part because I might use this part for a bow on top of her head. And now with some CMC, just going to glue this and just go all the way in the back and I'm going to go 
Let's hope this looks good. Yes. Perfect. Okay. I think I'm gonna make it thinner because I don't I don't like these two parts here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. Just take this out. Make it thinner. Oops. Okay. Good. I like it better now. And just join them here. Good. And now with this part, I'm going to give her a bow using like this. Okay. Big one. She deserves a big bow. Go big or go home, right? So there's one. Let me just make sure they're more or less the same size. There's two. Um, this is gonna be gluing here. Just move her here so you will see her better. Okay, I'm gonna press this here a little bit just to join them together. And then with this piece, let me just focus on her better. Move her here to the middle. I'm gonna remove this. You don't need. And with this middle piece, I'm just going to cut it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to glue it right in the middle. Oh my gosh, it looks crazy. Okay, now we only need a little piggy tail in the back and we're moving to uh painting her so let me just give her a quick tail here very quickly very quickly start <laughs> okay Oh my guys, this is the first time I'm doing this piece here with you. I love to do this. Okay. Whoops, screwed it. It's in the wrong side, lady. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Now I'm going to move on okay, to for the painting, the painting I'm going to use dust, edible dust. I'm just going, I'm not going to go overboard with this. I'm going to keep her some pink here in her ears and in her cheeks as well. Maybe here in the top of her eye, but just a little shadow. Okay, here in her chin too. Just a little shadow in here. I'm going to give her here in the middle of her legs. And here as well. She looking so pretty. I love it. I can see her like this. Oh, it's looking good. This one here again. Good. Now, with a darker shade, I forgot to color her nose. Her nose has to be really, really pink. Really, really, really pink. Now, with some uh, darker tones, more orangey, and mixing it with the same brush, I'm gonna color the paws here just to give like a darker finish here they could be brown but I'm not gonna put them there I'm gonna put them just a mix of these two 
shades. Okay. Maybe in her in her nose too here to the sides. I will give her like a light, like a dark shade as well. And here to the top. Get a little bit more of this. So this is more orangey and this is more pink. And I'm trying to mix them together a little bit just to just to give her some perfect. I'm gonna give her a shadow here under her neck as well. Just a little shadow. And here in the back, do her little piggy tail. Perfect. Okay, I have to say it, this turned out even cuter than I thought. I'm gonna take some nice pictures in the daylight and show it to you because she looks too cute. And on our first attempt, guys, we can do it, we can do it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later in the week with another farm animal. Bye-bye.